Hello everyone, this is Akio from the Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. I am a co-author of this book, and the book is about jewelry 3D modeling using Rhino and Grasshopper. In this channel, Eva and I are introducing many unique jewelry modeling techniques. The book is available at Amazon website in your country. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bypass ring using sub-D tools in Rhino 8. Let's get started. I will start to make a setting for this 6mm stone. Okay, I have this curve at the girdle. And change it to sub-D tab. And makes curve sub-D fluently. Extrude up with the control and grab the scale handle and control and a shift and extrude down to make a height of this setting twice. Okay, then I'm going to uh, taper a little bit, grab the scale handle with a shift. Now the bottom is tapered and turn off the stone and grab this edge, double click and extrude it down. And uh, so this is going to be the seat. So grab the scaling handle with the shift key, no control. Okay. I would make edges a little crispier, so I'm going to add cleats. Uh, maybe it's 80%. Okay. Looks good. And then close this setting. And double click to select this edge loop. Extrude it to the inside with the shift and control. Then bridge these top edges and bottom edges. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to create curves for the shank. Circle command, center zero and 16.51 millimeter diameter for the size six and create a sweep shape, circle diameter command. Starting from the bottom quad point, I will do two millimeter diameter. Then I will bring up the stone and setting. Okay. And then control shift to select bottom faces. And then I'm going to bend. Transform bend command. Start of spine. And end of the spine. Then symmetry, yes. Okay, good. Okay, before I create a shank, I'm going to delete some of the faces. Go to the top viewport. Window select the right half of the faces. And one more row of the faces. Okay, then fill command to close it. This side of the setting, I want the single face. Okay, I will turn off the setting and make a shank right now. In sub D tab, sweep one rail, select the rail, select the sweep shape, enter. And I will do eight shape segment and 16 rail segment. Okay, 
and then delete the left side of the shank one more row and then I will select the edges and move the shank toward the right side Okay, then bring back the setting. I will bridge to connect those two edges. Before I bridge, I have to make sure the number of the edges are the same. So I will double click on this side. It said eight segment edges. And I will check this side of the edges. Well, it said eight segment. Okay, good. Then bridge command and select this edge, enter, and select this side. Okay. Then I'll uh, press OK. Bring back the stone and do some adjustment. I wanted to make this a little lower. Okay, good. Then rotate command and rotate this shank, I copy go yes, center zero, and 180 degrees. Great. Okay, then front viewport, and I would delete the two loads on the bottom, and bridge again. Okay, so here I like to have, yeah, two segments. And okay. All right. Then I will adjust the shape. Yep, that looks great. All right, this is a quick and easy split chunk. When this is ready, you go to two nerves command okay so this is sub D this is rhino nerves polysurface model I hope you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe uh, if you like this video and uh, Eva and I will bring in new models to this channel and if you have any request, please leave it in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.